Bronx Criminal Court sits in one of the poorest counties in New York State. We have an incredibly busy urban court that serves over 50,000 misdemeanor cases per year with 13 judges. When you see so many cases coming through and often the same people coming through over and over again, it can be disheartening, frustrating, and discouraging sometimes to think, well, are we really making a difference? There are many first-time defendants who get arrested for the typical quality of life. They jump a turnstile, they're smoking marijuana, they take something from a store. Traditional prosecution says payback as you go to jail. Maybe traditional prosecution should be payback as you go clean the wall in the community that you defaced. Or maybe you go work um, cleaning up the street outside of the store that you stole something from. We in the Bronx Judiciary are really lucky because we have a resource like Bronx Community Solutions that gives us neutral assessments that we can rely on and that links defendants to effective interventions. We do hold our clients accountable, but we also provide them with real concrete services so that they won't have to come through the system again. Having Bronx Community Solutions in the courtroom to have a defense attorney's back when saying to the judge, you know, instead of jail time, let's give this guy social services or let's give this, you know, this adolescent community service. That's a much more worthwhile um, sentence than, than jail time. The reason we're comfortable with Bronx Community Solutions doing this is because they take on the task of ensuring that the individuals who are sentenced to their community service, to particular programs, complete their mandates. Having Bronx Community Solutions in the courthouse, on the floor, uh, and available to our staff certainly is a critical piece of the puzzle. I think one of the really unique things about Bronx Community Solutions is they're both in the community and in the courthouse, which offers them a really unique perspective on who our clients are. You know, we've worked with uh, Bronx Community Solutions on our garden, which is coming up right here. Uh, we've worked with them on our block parties. We've had a block party in honor of Mariano Rivera when they renamed the uh, street in front of Yankee Stadium. They renamed it Rivera Avenue. And this is the start of the murals project. And it's because of Bronx Community Solutions that we were able to do so many of them. They came out, painted the backdrops for us, helped set, uh, get paint for the ones we needed. And while we had you know, professional artists do the work, uh, we, we couldn't even get it started if we didn't have Bronx Community Solutions doing it with us. Defendants are held accountable. They are giving back either to their local communities or to the community at large for, you know, minor crimes that they have committed. Twice a week we used to come to this location to remove graffiti. This is an entrance to the neighborhood and it looked bad. So the idea came out for a mural. So we contacted some uh, artists. Uh, to come and, and, and build the mural. When, when we unveiled the mural, we made a block party and uh, for the kids, for the whole entire neighborhood. And, and even the defender was smiling because they knew what this was. It was something positive for the neighborhood. Community board meetings incorporate all the stakeholders, the district attorney's office, community leaders, uh, local church groups, service providers. Uh, it helps, at, including members of the Defense Bar, it helps us to communicate about what's going on. Unique to Bronx Community Solutions, we're able to have resource coordinators and social workers who are in the courtroom, who are providing the appropriate assessment uh, screening tools, as well as the recommendations and monitoring for these special cases. Every time a client comes in, we open up a new, a new obligation for that client, and that's where we can track every engagement with that client and then track my engagement with the provider, the community provider, to keep track of all the information, and this way we have all of our notes and can explain in detail to the court what the results are. I was treated very, very, very well by Brown's Community Solutions. After I came out of court, I went over to Mr. Arino. He, he, uh, he was open-minded about the case. He uh, understood my situation, and uh, he was great. I, he's, he was very understanding to me. By demonstrating that alternatives to incarceration can be effective, can be better for people coming through the system, and can be better for the communities, and save the city money by reducing incarceration, uh, Bronx Community Solutions really helps to build faith in that process. 
so that not only does it make a difference for the clients that they're serving, but it encourages a culture change throughout the courthouse where we start to think about how we might address things more comprehensively and more creatively.